I have a warning for Guar, the band here. I saw a little child go into this show. The Bible says that it'd be better, better for a man to have a millstone tied around his neck and drunk in the middle of the sea than for them to offend one of these little ones who believe in Jesus. He probably doesn't believe in Jesus. I realize that, but you know what? It's not just about you. You're leading children into hell. You're taking children into this bloody show. It's not just a joke. It's not just a joke. We speak out the abundance of our heart. The wicked love death, and this is a show about death and blood and violence. You have so corrupted yourself that this appears to be music to you. This is entertainment to you. That's why you must be born again. I'll tell you, from my own life, I used to have the Oz Ozzy Osbourne tapes. I used to have the corrupt music. I used to be into the heavy metal. But you know what? God got a hold of me before I went too far. You are in danger of reprobation. I mean, look at You didn't start out using the F1. Now you use it all the time. You didn't start out listening to this hideous, vile, ruthless, devilish music. But you do it now. You were born a fornicator, but now you fornicate all the time. You weren't born a masturbator, but now you're a masturbator. You weren't born a liar, but now you're a liar. You're full of lust. You are led by lust. That's why the music gets more corrupt. See, it started with Elvis Presley and Little Bit of Beat. And now, look at it. It's turned into the most hideous, demonic piece of filth on the planet Earth. I don't know of anything more corrupt than what you're indulging in here. You are led of your lust. See, this is what happens when a person is godless and they don't pride on their lust. They go, they go down, down, down and become more like the devil. And you know what? This devil you worship, he's laughing at you. He's laughing at you. You know what? The devils, at least they fear when they hear the word of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that the devils hear the name of Jesus and they tremble. You don't tremble at the name of Jesus Christ because you're full of yourself. You're full of lust. You're full of the mockery of the devil. Foolish hearts. You men are fools. And you are going to go to hell. And like my brother said, all the crime throughout eternity, oh, if only I had listened to those street preachers, I wouldn't be burning in hell. See, the Lord Jesus Christ promises you eternal life. You need to live your life of sin now before you become like those two band members that are dead. They're in the ground. Their bodies are in the ground. But their souls are in eternal torment. Come out from among them. The Bible says, touch not the unclean thing. He will receive you. Flee from this corrupt music of the devil. Flee from this. There is wrath to come because of such things. Don't you know that? You're sinning against God. He would receive you if you turned. He would graciously receive you. He has abundant life. I know of nothing more abundant than abiding in Christ. I know of nothing so beautiful, so lovely, so full of God. I never had this when I was full of the devil. Ozzy Osbourne never did this for me. Guar never did this for anybody. Guar doesn't fill you with life. Guar doesn't give you abundant life. But Jesus Christ would. Jesus Christ does. ACDC, I used to like ACDC. They never filled me with life. They never filled me with anything but death. Oh, but the Lord Jesus Christ, my 
say, there's no God. And yet you say, hail Satan. I pray to Satan. They pray to Satan and he fell. Why would you say there's no God, yet you say, hail Satan? That don't make sense. You people need to do four things. Number one, you need to fear God who can cast your body and soul to hell. Number two, you need to repent of your sins. Number three, you need to trust Jesus. And number four, you may need to go and sin no more and be born again. That's the gospel. Jesus Christ died for sinners. He died for us. He died for you, but it don't mean nothing if you don't fear God, repent, trust Jesus to save you, and go and sin no more. It's simple. But if you love your sin more than you love God, you're going to turn into a reprobate, and you're going to just burn forever in the lake of fire. That's all I got to say. It's real simple. It's your choice. You got God-given free will. Choose God or choose the lake of fire. It's your choice. You heard the gospel. Judgment day. No excuse. And if you're not born again, he's going to show you this night, November 4th, 15th, 2014, you heard the gospel, you rejected it, bye-bye. Angels will toss your carcass into the lake of fire.